I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects, and in this video we're going to be checking out 10 different amplifiers that have become famous in doom metal music. So these are my top 10 amplifiers. Be sure you drop a comment below and let everyone else know one or two of your favorite amps in doom metal that I didn't cover in this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos that I put out. So last thing before we get started, I just wanted to give a big thank you to all the Patreon supporters that helped make this channel possible. At the end of this month, end of March 2024, we're going to be doing a giveaway on the Patreon page for one of the Fuzzlord Space Master Echo Pedals. It's a discontinued pedal, but I just wanted to give a thank you to everybody over there and do a giveaway at the end of this month. first amp on the list today is the Orange OR120. This amp pops up all over doom metal music. I've seen Matt Pike play them, Wada from Boris, and if you know of other musicians that play the Orange OR120, drop a comment below. Some interesting things about this amp is the FAC control and the bass treble two band tone stack instead of the regular three band we used to see on Marshall and Fender. So the FAC control, uh, I'm not totally sure, but I think it stands for Frequency Adjustment Control. If you know, drop a comment. Uh, basically what it does is it changes the value of a capacitor that's in line with the audio signal on these amplifiers, and it's going to take away bass. So you turn it one way, it's going to add bass to the signal, that's what the perceived effect is, but really it's just when you turn it the other way and it takes bass away, that's what the control is really doing. Uh, it is a rotary control, so it's not just like a normal potentiometer that you can smoothly turn back and forth. It has, uh, I believe, six different positions and it clicks. So really cool, unique control on this amplifier. And then we have the two band tone stack. It's just a bass and a treble control. And it's gonna be the James tone stack, also called the back sandal, depending on who you ask. And it's a really old school two band bass treble tone control. And if you crank the bass and the treble, you're gonna get a mid scooped uh, overall sound. And if you cut them, you can get a mid boost. So the big deal with the uh, James tone stack or the back sandal was that you could cover all the same ground as like the Fender 3 band with two controls. They have a really specific sound uh, overall, I think, compared to like a 3 band tone control with like a Fender or Marshall or high watt. But these amps just have uh, a ton of output volume running a set of EL34s, uh, four of them. So they're a really loud tube amplifier and they have a lot of gain especially for the era that they came from so again yeah, drop a comment below if you know of bands that use them then we're gonna have a gain control which uh, on the older versions is also basically the volume control some of the more modern ones have a master volume uh, but the gain on these amps is pretty much the master volume control. So when you get these cranked, they have a lot of gain and they're really, really loud. Uh, the dude in the comments down here described it very well. So thank you, Sean, for summing up the Mad Amp. Uh, you turn them all the way up, you're going to get Marty McFly. Next up is the green Mad Amp GT120. I think this is just one of the coolest looking amplifiers in all of doom metal music. Originally, they were made for Peter Green of uh, Fleetwood Mac because they were supposed to be very loud and very clean. They also have a really killer like fuzz tone if you push the, do they call it drive? Yeah, they call it the drive control. So basically the gain control on these amps. The Mad Amp GT120 and the Orange OR120 are different circuits, but they're 
incredibly similar amplifiers. So the Mad Amp has a bass boost control, which is a rotary control, just like the FAC on the orange, uh, a gain control, they're calling it drive, and a, vol a master volume on the modern GT120 MVs. We've got the same two band bass treble tone stack, very similar, and a presence control. I forgot to mention on the orange OR120, the HF drive is basically a presence control. So this is another incredibly loud amp, all tube amp EL34. I think the Mad Amp GT120 is just one of the coolest uh, amps you can buy that's still made at a smaller shop that uh, puts a lot of attention in, into detail. The insides of these amplifiers are really cool looking. So of course, uh, Sleep played some of these green Mad Amps for a while. Uh, I believe Boris also plays Mad Amps, but not the green ones, it's one of the black Mad Amps. I'm not sure if it's a GT120 or not. And who else? Uh, Bongzilla, I believe, plays the green Mad Amp. And uh, the Slowmatics, both guitarists and the Slowmatics both play Mad Amp GT120s, but I believe they're custom colors and have Slowmatics faceplates on them. I'm pretty sure that Mad Amp will do custom faceplates for your band if you contact them. Next up on the list is one of my favorite amps of all time, the High Watt DR-103. These are not a very high gain amplifier, but uh, they're really loud, they have a lot of clean headroom, and I think they take pedals incredibly well, especially like reverbs, delays, uh, chorus and phaser, stuff like that. So these are a really cool amplifier, uh, three band tone stack, bass, triple, bass, treble, middle, uh, instead of just the two band, like the Mad Amp in the orange or 120. So they're a two channel amp. They have a normal and a bright channel, um, presence control and master volume. I wouldn't say these are like the most fun amps in the world to play. Like they don't have a lot of, uh, much of a high gain sound. And to me, they're just a really powerful and incredibly good sounding, clean amp that has a lot of power that's great for uh, running a bunch of pedals. So one of my favorite amps of all time, High Watt DR-103. If you're curious to hear what one of these sounds like in a doom metal context, just check out Mike from Yob. Uh, a lot of his recordings were done with a high watt DR-103 or something really similar. Uh, there's a video on the channel, I'll leave a link in the description, to him checking out a couple pedals and then playing my old uh, DR-103 clone that I built. Electroharmonics MiG-50. Uh, I'm kind of just going to let that be interchangeable with a Sovtech version. Really cool 50 watt amp. Pretty decent price too, I think, especially for this new reissue. Another just great pedal platform amp. It's a two channel amp without the high and the low input. So we still have our two different volume controls, bass, middle, treble, and presence. So this is gonna be another one of those amps like the OR120 where you're gonna have to get it pretty loud before it starts to break up or distort at all. But a lot of people playing doom metal music really seem to uh, let their paddle boards do a lot of their tone. So the cool thing about that is you can switch between really loud, um, clean parts with like reverb, echo, things like that, or phaser, and then kick on your fuzz or distortion pedal um, and have your clean signal be able to keep up. Lenny AOR50, another one of my favorite amplifiers. You used to be able to get these for really cheap use on Craigslist or at pawn shops. These turned up a lot. It's a 50 watt all tube amplifier, kind of similar to a Marshall JCM 800 on the circuit, but it has push pull pots on the bass, middle and treble controls that really open up a lot of sounds on the amp. When you pull the pot out on the bass, um, it's a 
really large base boost. So all three of the pots, when you pull them, it's a boost to the circuit. This amplifier has an effects loop, so if you like running your time-based effects in the effects loop, uh, this amp is set up for that. It also has push-pull pots uh, for the uh, AOR channel, which is just a much higher gain sound. Um, but this amp, ironically, is another really good amp that has a lot of clean headroom and output power clean, and it's a great pedal platform. But if you're just into the kind of high gain JCM 800 sound, it's got that too. The Model T is probably one of the uh, most valuable, rarest, and coolest amps in doom metal. So another 100 watt plus tube amp, so 100 watts, but they put out a little bit more than that. Two different, uh, it's a two channel amp, a bright and a normal, a bass, middle, and treble tone stack, uh, presence control, and a master volume. Kind of similar in overall concept, just like a Fender Bassman. But one really cool thing about these amplifiers is that they have an ultra linear output transformer. So basically, uh, they're a really clean, loud, powerful amp. If you're curious to know what an ultra linear output section is all about, just uh, check out some articles on Google. When you crank them really loud, they do break up and have a really great distortion or fuzz tone. Um, I think these amps just got so popular because of the amount of output power they had and that they took pedals really well and sounded good uh, at higher gain. So really cool amp. Let's hope that Sun re-releases a Model T soon. All right, we got any solid state fans out there. Uh, next up is the Sun Beta Lead. I've never had much experience with these, but I know some people really like them. Uh, and they seem pretty popular in more of like the stoner rock kind of genres, um, like Red Fang, stuff like that. So all solid state amplifier, dual channels. Uh, I believe you can run them like at the same time in parallel. And they're kind of known for having a really cool built-in distortion sound. So if you're a fan, drop a comment below. Ampeg V4, another really loud, powerful, clean tube amp. I think the kind of common theme I keep seeing in people's doom metal amp setups is really loud, powerful amplifiers into 4x12s or like a set of 4x12s. Uh, mostly tube amps and stuff that it's clean and takes pedals well. So this is another really cool amp. I've never got a chance to play one, but I hope one day I get to pick one up. Laney Supergroup. If you are a huge Black Sabbath fan, this is the amp for you. Um, another amp I've never had a chance to play, but this is just another amp I wanted to include in this video. Check out that build. This is a... Uh, Really nicely made, old school tube amp. So, loud, powerful. Um, and uh, this is one of the amps that Tony Iommi really liked to play. All right, last amp in the video. I tried to find one that was cooler looking, but the more I thought about it, is this the coolest amp of the whole video? I don't know. Uh, this is the Randall 100, R, the Randall RG 100 ES. Jeez, that's a mouthful. Um, if you're into sludge metal, stuff like crowbar or acid bath, these amps uh, were used a lot in that genre. So I believe a Boss Metal Zone plus a Randall RG 100 and like that's the crowbar or acid bath tone. There's a, there's a cool looking one. So solid state amp. Um, 
and uh, they get that sound. Metal Zone, this, ready to rock. All right, I really appreciate you watching the video. Be sure you drop that comment below of one of your favorite amplifiers in doom metal and uh, maybe some people, some musicians or some bands that use them. So big thank you to everybody's names that I'm running on the screen right now. These are all the folks that support the Fuzz Lord Effects YouTube channel through the Patreon page. Also want to give a big special shout out to Jonas, Jacob, Corey, and Bayou Slavic. Uh, people that have been longtime supporters of the channel that just really help support what I do here. So these are my top 10 favorite amps in doom metal. The common theme seems to be large, powerful tube amps that are clean and take pedals well. So if I miss something, drop a comment below. I appreciate you watching this video. You can keep up with me on a daily on the Instagram page at FuzzLordEffects. Uh, on the Patreon page, or you can check out our new Discord server where people are talking about DIY pedals, pedal boards, and everything in between. Again, I'm Jason from Fuzzlord. Thanks for watching the video. I'll talk to you in the comments.